to Living the Dream podcast. My name is Isaac Jasper, and today we're going to be going over training camp signings and whatnot. I am going to be going in depth and explaining who, what, when, and where these individuals were placed, um, and kind of just go over what they bring to the floor. Um, Just a plethora of talent is what I uh, specified on Twitter. So the first one is going to be Indy Jones uh, from Texas A&M. She's drafted 23 overall by the Seattle Storm. Um, she comes in from Texas A&M as their all-time leading rebounder, um, setting a record of 42 career double-doubles. So someone that can come in, defend the paint, get her shots up at the same exact time, potentially some foul calls, some and ones. Um, but at the same time, she comes out and she plays hard. Um, and obviously setting records, being the all-time leading rebounder um, is something that's very, very special. Um, the next one up is going to be uh, Kyla uh, uh, Hillsman coming in again from Texas A&M. She was a 59.3% shooter uh, from the, for career field goals. So this is something that's very, very special. <laughs> Fifth overall in, in, in uh, rebounds with career 880 rebounds as a college player. So that, that's something that's very, very special. Again, protecting the paint, whether that being offensive, whether that being defensive rebounds. She's just she's she's an un, one of the unstoppable forces that were a part of uh, college basketball in 2018. They both were able to help, you know, bring Texas A&M to a Sweet 16 in 2018. Fortunately, the game came up short with Notre Dame winning the whole entire thing. So these two players coming in from Texas A&M, it's kind of special because we have two individuals that came in from the Sparks that played on the same team. We had two individuals that came from the Mercury that played on the same team. And now two individuals that come in from a college level that played on Texas A&M that are coming in on the same exact team as well. So this is very, very special. We have uh, Jalen Agnew, who's coming in as the first Creighton Blue Jay to be drafted into the WF. I'm, I'm going to start using words special, optimistic, stuff like that to describe these individuals because a lot of them bring – things that we necessarily didn't have to the, you know, to the best of our ability last season, you know, or we didn't have a grasp upon. So hopefully these individuals can come in and they can bring um, in some much needed talent that is necessary, some young talent, you know, with the young veterans that we currently have. So Jalen Agnew, again, first Creighton Blue Jay to be drafted ever by Washington Mystic. That's something that's, again, very, very special. Played in Russian PBL League, um, averaging over 17 points. Uh, seven points, four point eight rebounds, and a little over one point seven assists over an eight stretch game, uh, eight stretches of a game. So that that's again something very very special. Um, we got to be optimistic, you know. Um, last season again was a stinker, you know, but we got to be on the up and uh, the up and up and be a little bit more op- optimistic. We got young talent and some young veterans that are coming in that you know are obviously are not going to sit there and just let a team run all over them I I really really do not believe this team is just going to let every single team in the league look at them as not uh, as a non-lethal uh threat so you know she was awarded the humanitarian award with the team in 2020 when they won the humanitarian of the year award as a team Atlanta Dream so that's something very special she played six games first averaging over 1.3 points um and a little over uh an assist Um, But that was just due to playing time. We really didn't have a coach, um, you know, that that could solidify a formidable, uh, you know, roster or lineup, you know, um, defensive or offensive schemes, um, you know, which enacted, you know, a lot of um, stuff that happened, you know, know, inside the locker room that, you know, really didn't need to happen. So I don't think we have that this year. I think everybody's going to get their playing time. I think everybody's going to look at the brighter side of things. I mean, Coach Wright emphasizing that everybody mostly that is a young vet is coming in and is letting them know, you know, whatever, what do you, whatever, what do you need me to do coach? Whatever it is, I'll do it. And, and that's, that's the type of players that that we need. That's the type of players we have. And that's the type of players that you need to push them. That's just, that's plain and simple. So every one of them has something to offer and we just need to start looking at that. This is Isaac Jasper from living the dream. 
you can check us out on our live that's going to be happening uh, happening a little bit later um not really too sure what the game's going to be uh called but just know that you're going to get the notification that we're going to be live it's going to be sent to every single link that we have um under fila sports um again i am an affiliate of of uh fila sports so i hope you guys do uh, love and, and adore um this acquisition that they have acquired and in me um this is you know only the beginning you know i'm ramping up on you know different types of of uh scenarios and and just different types of episodes that we can we can work with so i hope you guys really do like the content that's going to be uh coming out pretty soon and i hope you like the content that's already out um so again check us out late night we're going to be live um it's going to be a bunch of us conversating about this very same topic on episode three um of us just conversing on what we feel is the best outcome for the training camp signings and do we keep them on um for the rest of the the rate duration of the season do we keep them um or you know do we let them go elsewhere which i don't think we will let any of these players go elsewhere um so yeah check us out live um yeah i'll see you guys later on tonight later sure.